We know from the geological record that the Earth's magnetic field reverses. Uh, and, and, and the timescales of that reversal are, are, are long. They're hundreds of thousands, maybe millions of years. Um, what's very interesting is exactly what happens when that reversal occurs. And we, of course, we haven't been around as a, as a civilized society to, to be able to have seen that. Um, uh, so we have to go by magnetic models. And uh, the magnetic models that we have uh, show that potentially very complicated things could happen to the Earth's magnetic field as it weakens and its configuration changes as part of that reversal. And, and if you imagine the kind of space physics that we're studying today based upon what's basically a dipole field of the Earth um, holding in the, the, the magnetic field uh, and, and the plasma surrounding the Earth, I guess the, the models show that that could change quite a lot. I mean, people talk about configurations like octopoles or quadrupoles. So the Earth's magnetic field could really become quite complicated. And, and if you then think about the effect of that on, on the upper atmosphere, but also on things like satellite and communications, then, then, then that could be quite a, a substantial effect. And we really, we really don't know how that's going to play out. If you look back into the magnetic record, and, and people have been measuring the magnetic field, making good measurements of the Earth's magnetic field now for more than 100 years, um, you can know pretty accurately where the magnetic field of the Earth has been and how it's moved. And the Earth's magnetic field is never exactly stable. So the Earth's magnetic field is, 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 is all the time changing a little. And the location of the Earth's magnetic pole, which is right now somewhere off northern Canada, has changed quite a bit over the last 100, 200 years since we've been making good magnetic measurements. But what's remarkable about the last 10, 20 years is how much the position of the Earth's magnetic pole is changing. And the Earth's magnetic pole turns out to be shooting towards Russia at an alarming rate. So, uh, so one day it'll be, it'll be gone out of North America, and that'll only be a few years if present trends continue. I think a career in science is unique. Um, some of the things about it, they're, they're, first of all, the very fact that there is stuff that people don't know. I mean, that, that's what grabbed me from the very start, I think, with, with, when I was six years old and looking at astronomy books. You know, there is stuff that people don't know, and I could be part of finding that out. Um, and the other thing, which I think is part of it as well, is the people you meet. I mean, the people that you come into contact with who have, have been doing this for a long time, they have a real uh, conviction for what they do and a strong feeling. It's almost a sort of uh, apostolic thing, really. They want to spread the message of doing science and, and they want people to succeed. And it's actually quite a supportive activity, I think, in, in working in a scientific community because you know, people don't want each other to fail. They want, they, they want to help each other. And actually, it's a very nice collaborative environment, at least in this space physics community. I would say from my own experience, I mean, this job that I do has taken me to all sorts of interesting places, from, from the west coast of America to the east coast of China. It's taken me to the far north, to run all sorts of interesting equipment, to meet all sorts of interesting people. And OK, it's hard work sometimes, but why would you not do that? I mean, that's, that's just what life is for, isn't it?